Support for today's broadcast on KNWT TV comes from High V Supermarket, offering groceries, bakery, floral, pharmacy, wine and spirits, catering, deli, dry cleaning, fuel, and more. High V is open daily from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. and is located at 1217 South Main in Maryville. Online ordering is also available on the High V Isles online app. For more information, call 660-582-2191. Also, from Student Body, your source for everything Bearcat. Located at 221 West 4th Street in Maryville, Student Body is open Monday through Saturday. For all your Bearcat apparel needs, call 660-582-8889. KNWT for Hire is all about sharing a story, a message, and connecting the community. We cover a multitude of events, both within the university and Maryville. We roll in, we set up, and we capture. We're here to offer an experience, not only for those present, but for all. We are Channel 8 News. <laughs> to keep you informed on everything in our community on campus, as well as in our Maryville community. From the news, to sports, to student life. Katie Bird, Alexis Cooner, and Skylar Stamps with sports. For the stories that matter to you, catch new episodes of Channel 8 News at KNWT-TV. Today's live stream on KNWT Channel 8 is brought to you by Northwest Student Activities Council. The student-led organization plans and executes for all interests to be a part of coordinating events on campus. To learn more, visit nwmissouri.edu slash get involved slash SAC. Support for the Bearcats also comes from El Maguey Mexican Restaurant, serving Mexican cuisine, desserts, and beverages for dine-in, takeout, and delivery. El Maguey is open daily and is located at 964 South Main in Maryville. Online ordering is available at elmaguey2go.com or call 660-562-1104. Kirsten, what are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? Making TikToks? And it's not about what I do. It's about what we do here. So we start with storyboarding the content we want to create for our clients. It could be anyone from small businesses, nonprofits, and organizations both on campus and in the Maryville community. We write, we film, we edit, we create, and then we wait. So if you're someone who thinks you need us, we are KNWT Creative Services. Step into a new pair of shoes with Shoe Sensation. As one of our sponsors for this year's parade, Shoe Sensation provides athletic shoes, dress shoes, sandals, boots, and more for the entire family. Visit them daily at 1414 South Main in Maryville, your hometown brand name shoe store. More information is available by calling 660-241-5014 and online at shoesensation.com. Today's broadcast is also brought to you by Something Borrowed. This event rental boutique offers a custom curated variety of one-of-a-kind items and event essentials. Something Borrowed breaking the bank and provides a fun, practical solution to help you create the event of your dreams. For more information, visit somethingborrowedmaryville.com. Northwest Tower Yearbook has dedicated over a century to the organization, has numerous pacemaker awards, and a spot in the Associated Collegiate Press Hall of Fame. Learn more about Tower at the handles below. Out of 7 billion people, each one of them has a different... We share our stories with family and friends. We tell our stories through laughter and tears. Create our stories with talents and strengths. 
We survive our stories of hardships and grief. And throughout everything we live through, we, we are staying, staying for, for the stories. stories. Support for today's homecoming parade on KWT-TV comes from Gray's Truck Stop and Restaurant. Located at 22979 US 71 in Maryville, Gray's serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily from 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. For more information, call 660-582-2412. This broadcast is sponsored by Clothing Concepts. Clothing Concepts will host a clothing warehouse sale from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. today at the Maryville Parks and Rec Community Center. Located at 1407 North Country Club Road in Maryville, Clothing Concepts offers men's and women's clothing and shoes. Guys. We are live. Three. Good morning and welcome to the. We are glad that you are here with us, even if you're not physically here. Tyrell Childress. Throughout the parade, we'll giving we'll be giving you a play-by-play -play of what's coming down the streets of Maryville during our parade. Yes, absolutely. But before we get into the parade that will be starting at 9 a.m., we have a few pre-parade packs that we've started out for you, brought to you by KNWT. So before we get into things, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bearcat Marching Band. You see, the homecoming parade has been a tradition since 1924 here. Members of the band come from all over the world to work hard every day, preparing a performance that will woo crowds and dazzle fans. However, the B&B The athletic program featured the first marching band, Zimmy's Zobo Zuaves. Led by Frank Zimmer, this all-female group featured full-length dresses and red sashes, representing the school colors of the time. In 1933, after reorganization of the Northwest Orchestra, the full band program began, playing for a variety of athletic events on campus. In 1971, the Color Guard debuts as the Pom Pom Girls, later renamed the Northwest Flags, with the steppers performing alongside the marching band at halftime. With the last part of the band in place, the BMB was ready to perform for a growing audience for years to come. Honestly, Northwest has always had a really, really good band program. The marching band was fantastic. When I got here, Alfred Sergal was the band director, and he had been the band director here for over 20 years, 25 years plus probably, since the early 1980s. And they were quite good. The, the group played very well, they looked great, and so it was quite impressive for a school our size to have such a great ensemble that was connected with the students and with the community and the campus community and the Maryville community. They're just such an important part of the game. If you go to football games, the marching band and the student section, they kind of feed off each other. It's really fun to sit on the home side directly across from the BMB because it's almost like you get a full concert the entire game. It's really, it's really quite exciting. Coming into the B&B, it's a, it's a different atmosphere than what I was used to in high school. It's a lot more outgoing and fun, and it's just very welcoming, so I was very excited to be part of a, a group 
that would just accept me for who I am. And it's just a fun time. It's evolved a lot. Uh, I think COVID has really kind of expanded on everything. So we've had to work together more on collaboration. It doesn't matter what instrument they play, what their major is, we can collaborate and just have a good time throughout the season. The B&B is honestly one of the best parts of my day because I get to go up to almost everybody and just say hi or give them a smile, ask them how they're doing. I get to watch them grow as a person too because a lot of people would come in very timid and shy because it's a brand new environment and then I get to see them blossom into a really outgoing, awesome. The B&B works hard every day to bring quality performances to Maryville, and we're excited to see what they have up their sleeves next. A big thank you to the Northwest Marching Band members, both past and present, for bringing Bearcat pride to all Northwest events. And be sure to be on the lookout today during the parade because local and area high school marching bands are actually competing during this year's parade. Throughout the week, Northwest faculty, students, and staff members were participating in homecoming activities, and here's a few of them for you. Yeah, absolutely, Skylar Stamps. On top of all those marching bands coming in, we love to show our Bearcat pride here at Northwest. One of those groups and organizations that love to do that are our fraternities and our sororities. They put on a variety of different things, like in our JW Student Union. There we can see a variety of different canned art and banners. All those can art and banners will are in, like starting to look more like games, like games and board games, right? So you've seen a variety of different things such as Mario Kart and or Clue, right? All that can art will eventually be donated at some point and those banners are definitely going to be up for a minute because they look phenomenal. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, all students and faculty here at Northwest participated in walkout day. Uh, walkout day is a day where students just don't show up to class. Oh yeah, This started you know back in 1915 when students decided that they weren't going to show up to class on the Friday of homecoming because why should you whenever it's homecoming? Absolutely, that's when we celebrate, right? But ever since then, it's become stuck in an unofficial holiday here on Northwest campus. Oh yeah, and we do a few other things here on walkout day as well, like the ringing of the bell. That has been going on since 1948 and is usually rung by our president of the university and our student senate president. There we see a ton of alumni come to see it and kind of talk about the history of homecoming and what they have in store with that, which is really awesome. On top of that, our fraternities and sororities the day before that put on a variety show where they get to show off some of the fun, some of the quirky things that they have going on. Of course, our theme is Bearcats Got Game, so we'll see a lot of that, and a lot of those acts will be some of the things we'll be seeing in this parade coming up. Yes, they will, and Bearcats do have game. This week, the soccer team was in action on Friday at home as they took on Missouri Southern and defeated them 3-0. to zero. Volleyball was also in action as they were defeating Missouri Southern yesterday as well, three sets to one. They also picked up a win on Tuesday. And don't forget the football game today. Uh, that's absolutely right, Scott. The yeah, highlight that's... of the homecoming yeah. events here. Northwest will take on Northeastern State at 2 p.m. in Bearcat Stadium. Yes, absolutely. And you know we are all going to be excited for that coming up, that's for sure. But before we start kicking into more football, we have to talk about who we are, right? Yes. KNWT is the student television organization run by our students here on campus, right? You can automatically be a part of it and you don't even have to be a media major, right? You can end up in a position like us right now, or you can find yourself on a variety of different things, like making content for shows like Nerd Central, the show that I'm, that I'm on, your one-stop shop for all things nerd, or maybe your show, right? Yeah, Channel 8 News. You could be a sports host on Channel 8 News, a news anchor, or make weekly content that airs every Monday at 2 p.m. right here on our YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. And speaking of those stories, I made a football pack about the Northwest football team during homecoming. Yeah, you most certainly did. And that's one of the opportunities that we are able to have here at Northwest. So we'll definitely kick it to that as soon as we're able to. Yes, mm -hmm. and KNWT, we want to thank them for allowing us to have this parade live stream. We have a variety of students behind the camp. And um, so that's a really big thing that we had here. And then we're going to throw it to my football pack and check it out. All right. 
Northwest Missouri State, a powerhouse in Division II football. Alumni from around the world come back for this one special day during football season, homecoming. It was the year 1946 when the Bearcat football team stepped into Bearcat Stadium to play in the first ever homecoming football game to defeat Missouri State 7-0. It came just one year after the Bearcats didn't field a team because of World War II. From that point on, the Bearcats didn't field a team because of World War II. From that point on, the Bearcats found success during homecoming, winning 11 straight games, including one tie. After that, the Cats made it a known fact that there was magic at Bearcat Stadium. From 1946 to the present, the Bearcats would boast 47 more homecoming wins. Mel Churchma, the winningest football coach in Northwest history, took the Bearcats from shambles and built them into a football powerhouse. In his 17 years, he led the Bearcats to 15 homecoming wins and three national championships, including this 1998 clip versus Carson Newman. Northwest Missouri State, they are the national champions. Chris Grison, the senior, has gotten it done. 24-6 is our final score as they carry the coach off the field. The next year, Churchma and the Bearcats kept the trophy at home with arguably the best football game in Northwest history. The Bearcats earned this one in a 58-52 quadruple overtime win against Carson Newman for the second year in a row. For many Bearcat fans, it's a trip down memory lane. From reliving the national championships, have done it back. the homecoming games and events, and most importantly, rooting on their Bearcats. Bearcat Stadium will be packed and the Bearcats will put on a show on Mel Church Field versus Northeastern State to try and extend their homecoming win streak to seven. Thank you so much for that, Skyler Stance. We greatly appreciate it. Of course, you can come here, join us for that Bearcat tailgate at 11.30 a.m., and then we'll be seeing that actual game at 2 p.m. Getting super excited for that as well. And of course, if you're not here at Bearcat Stadium with us, of course, you're more than willing to join us on KXCV KRNW, where you can see John Coffey and Matt Tritton start hosting the game for that as well or on X160 here, or the MIAA Sports Network, right? Yeah, and as you may have noticed, I'm here with Sam Reeves, KZLX sports announcer. So Sam, what do you do here at KZLX? Yes, and thank you, Scott, for having me. Uh, I am the sports director at KZLX, uh, so I'm in charge of all of our sports program, and I also do a lot of play-by-play -play and color commentary for our games as well on the air. In addition to that, I'm also on the sideline with John and Matt, on the Bearcat Radio Network, so I'm, I have the opportunity to do that with them as well. So I'm fully immersed in all the sports here on the Bearcat campus, both football and basketball. So uh, between K and W, or excuse me, between X106, of course, the student-run radio station, and of course, the Bearcat Radio Network, uh, I get a lot of experience doing that, and it's a lot of fun. Perfect. And then for today's game, uh, the Bearcats are undefeated versus the Riverhawks since their joining of the MIAA in 2011. And then Northwest has also won 24 of their last 26 homecoming games. So what are your predictions for today? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day at uh, Bearcat Stadium. The Northeastern State Riverhawks are one in six this year, so they're definitely not toward the upper echelon of the MIAA. But I was talking to Bearcat quarterback Mike Hohensee earlier this week, and he said the Riverhawks are definitely an improved team over the team they had over at Northeastern State last season. And the Riverhawks had a very close loss, 23-16, to against Missouri Western and St. Joe last week. It took a Western touchdown in the final two minutes to pull out a victory there. So Northeastern State, albeit they've struggled a lot this year, the game may be a little closer than people expect, expect it to be, but I still see Northwest uh, winning this game pretty handily this afternoon. Yeah, and one of my talking points here, Jacob Frazier, the River Hawks quarterback, he's only had about half the passing yards as Hohensee this season. As we know, uh, Hohensee hasn't played in all games this season, but also has thrown eight interceptions. So I expect our defense, don't be surprised if you see an interception this afternoon. Yeah, the Bearcat defense has been fantastic all season, Skyler, and I, I think that's going to play a big role uh, today as well. I was watching a little bit of film with John Coffey last night in uh, 
the one talking point I wanted to mention for sure, and one thing I noticed was that the uh, Northeastern State offensive line has not been a strong point of their team this season. They're starting two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior, I believe, on the offensive line. So a very young group, very inexperienced. And they'll be going up against the likes of Elijah Green and Zach Howard on the defensive line for the Bearcats. So they should be getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback this afternoon as well. Could, could see a lot of sacks to go along with those interceptions that you mentioned. Exactly. So, if you were out to throw out a ballpark score prediction, what would that be? Oh man, that's that's tough. Just because you know, in the past, you look at games that Northeastern State and the Bearcats have played uh, in the previous years, and not a lot of them have been close. I think Northeastern State hangs around for probably a quarter, but Northwest probably pulls away. I would say something like 49 to six would be a decent score position oh, score prediction. That's I would good say. to hear, right? That is. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, I mean, what are you thinking on that? Um, well, I'm kind of the same as you. If you would have looked at the River Hawks earlier this season, you would have thought that this would be a very easy game for the Bearcats. But as you said, going back against the Griffins last week, they were in it. There was a rain delay and they were tied. But in the final um, quarter of action, Western scored a touchdown to take the lead and eventually the win. So I would say a ballpark score prediction, 42 to 14. I think that the River Hawks tack on some touchdowns, but ultimately this Northwest defense is just going to be too much for them. Absolutely agree, yes. Yeah. So talking about homecoming, Tyrell, what have you done this homecoming? Oh man, this homecoming's been pretty busy. You know, when you're a part of KNWT and such, you really have a lot of things going on, right? But being engaged with the variety show, you know, working with John Coffey and Matt Tritton on things and getting excited for that football game, right? It's been pretty busy, that's for sure. What about you, Skyler? This homecoming, I've been pretty busy as well. So I made that homecoming football pack. And then we went to the variety show on Thursday. And let me tell you, that was a lot of fun. Seeing what the sororities and fraternities had put together for us, it was evident that they put a lot of time into each of their acts. Right, I think one of the best parts about it too is actually our flag parade that we had on walkout day, where we had every single international student that were representing it go out, walk them from the library to the flags, and be able to hoist them up themselves. It's a really awesome thing that we have here at Northwest, that is for sure. Yes, it was. And then the Student Activities Council, the SAC, they also had a free t-shirts yesterday at they the union. They definitely did. They 500 t-shirts and then the special front part of the line got some special care packages of, from Northwest. So that's a really good thing that they do for us here in the community. Absolutely. And I guess, Sam, since you know we are Bearcats Got Game, you maybe have a favorite board game and or video game. Of course, your favorite game is probably football, correct? Uh, yeah, football or baseball would be right. Right? I'm assuming uh, that's absolutely. gonna be what it is, uh, right? But yeah, no, you're right, you're right. The union was packed yesterday with people in line getting those free shirts and uh, and I, I'm glad you mentioned the uh, flag raising ceremony too, Tyrell. That's a very cool tradition Northwest Most has. definitely on is. Road. Yes, it is. And with the student union, <laughs> one of my friends and I, we decided that we'd go in there and get our t-shirts. We said, well, it starts at 10, so we'll show up at 9.55 and mm -hmm. be one of those first few people. Let me tell you, we were wrong. We yeah, showed yes. up there, it was waved in and out through the union, and I would say that there was about 250 people in front of us. So I'm glad oh, that we yes. could talk a little bit about our homecoming experience. It is a humongous tradition here at Northwest. But that's about going to wrap it up for the pre-parade show here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this, for everybody being a part of that as well. But without further ado, of course, thank you so much, Sam Reeves, thank for being a both. part of here for that, representing KZLX. Absolutely. But you know, guys know what time it is, right? The one we've all been waiting for, it is time for the homecoming parade. Let's kick this off. Mm -hmm.
Good morning and welcome to the 98th annual Northwest Missouri State Homecoming Parade. We're glad that you could join us here on the live stream. The parade traditionally features around 100 entries, including bands, floats, sponsored by campus and community organizations and businesses. During the parade, we'll see Greek life competition with the floats, Dilopi, dancing clowns, and paper mache head categories. By simply walking in the parade, these groups are representing their best and most original expression of Bearcat pride in this year's homecoming theme, which is Bearcats Got Game. That is absolutely correct, Skylar Stamp. As the Army ROTC walks in front of us here, they provide qualified stu college students to pursue a commission in the United States Army while also attending college as a full-time student. The program also uh, provides the general student body the opportunity to attend leadership and confidence building classes within curing a military, a military obligation. Northwest actually partners with the Missouri Western State University to provide the Reserve Officers Training Corps program to Northwest Missouri State students. That's a pretty special partnership that we have given that they're rivals in sports, but we're able to come together for the betterment of the community. Yeah, that is absolutely right. And as we can see starting to come in, we can see the Maryville Fire Department. The Maryville Fire Department is responsible for fire protection for the city of Maryville. They also provide fire suppression, emergency medical assistance, fire inspections, and fire safety programs for the community. And it's good knowing that they're just here serving 24-7, 365, always here for anyone in need of anything. Absolutely, and they seem to bring quite a few people with them today. Just shows the amount of equipment and dedication that they have to their craft here. We can hear the band coming, and that's what a lot of people are waiting for. But oh, right in yeah. front of us here, the Grand Marshal, Dr. Arlie Larson. Arlie Larson served as a faculty member for, from the fall of 1987 through the summer of 2020. He also worked the Department Chair of Agriculture from 1933 until 2012. When he was asked about what his favorite memory was, he said, it was a pleasure to be able to invest a career into the lives of hundreds of young people and see the School of Agriculture flourish. Absolutely, and as you can see coming up, we can see the family of the year as people cheer. This is the Swink family as they were honored as Northwest 2022 Family of the Year. Northwest Family of the Year represents the best of Bearcat Nation and is recognized during Northwest Annual Family Weekend, sponsored by Campus Dining. The Family of the Year recognition comes with a $750 scholarship as well as other gifts from the campus and community. And next up on your screen, you can see the homecoming king and queen were announced Thursday night yes, at the conclusion of the variety show, which featured student organizations performing skits and musical acts to represent their best and most original expression of Bearcat pride. Yes. This year's homecoming king and queen were Foster Huggins and Hadley Douglas. Oh yes. And as we can see start to come up is the Bearcat marching band themselves. Since the mid-1920s, the university's bands have presented thrilling, innovative, and exciting performances for the four state areas, including Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. Known as the Musical Pride of Northwest, they will be performing later today during the Bearcat football game at 2. The Bearcat Steppers. Speaking of stepping, Shoe Sensation. Step into a new pair of shoes with Shoe Sensation. As one of our sponsors for this year's parade, Shoe Sensation provides athletic shoes, dress shoes, sandals, boots, hometown brand, family name shoe store. For more information, call 660-241-5014 and online at shoesensation.com. 
Yes, and as they start to line up, you can start to see that they've been up probably since four in the morning recently. As they are always on time, and don't get me wrong, that football game's gonna be really exciting with them there. We'll let you take a listen in here to the Bearcat Marching Band. here for Northwest. Oh, you most certainly can. And you'll be seeing them at 2 p.m. when they're going there for that football game. It really will be a delight, that is for sure. Next up, we have the Northwest Alumni Association. Earlier this week, the class of 1972 celebrated their 50th reunion. Oh, wow, 50th, wow. Next up, the Student Senate. Here at the Northwest Student Senate, this is an exciting year because Northwest is celebrating 100 years of Student Senate on campus. And in celebration, we have the governing Student Senate Board as well as past Student Senate Presidents to honor them for their work and dedication to Northwest. Um, yep, and coming up after that, it'd be the North Not Away Mustang drum line. Coming in in royal blue. Like there's some Mario and Luigi's out there, isn't there, Skyler Stan? Yes, there is. Oh yeah, that's gonna be our the Alpha Sigma Alpha Dancing Clown. The Alpha Sigma Alpha presents to you an upbeat and energetic Super Mario Bros. themed hip hop dance. Our dance is choreographed around the two main characters, the brothers Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi will dance to a matchup with different songs from the Super Mario Bros. games. can not beat some good Mario Bros. Oh, you really can, man. And they definitely have the moves to show it, all right? Oh, look at that choreography. Right, I don't know what the button commands was for that, man, but hey, I could use that for sure. I guess, Skyler Stamps, are you more of a Mario or a Luigi fan? You know, I would have to say Mario, but if I'm being honest, I did not play Mario or anything whenever I was a child. Right, yeah, you're just on Madden the whole time, <laughs> right? That's what it is, Madden and uh... 2K. Completely understandable as well, that's for <laughs> sure, yes. I actually dressed up as Luigi for Halloween like a couple years back now. So to see them go pretty crazy is pretty awesome, that is for I sure. I guess they weren't lying whenever they said, it doesn't matter your age, you can still dress up for Halloween. Man, oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Yes, yeah, see, do you continue to dress up for Halloween? I guess that's also coming up, isn't it? Oh boy, we'll see. We'll see, <laughs> it really depends for you, right? Yes, thank you so much for those dancing clowns. They were phenomenal. Yes, they were. And next up, the Nottoway County Sheriff's Office. It's located on the county seat of Maryville, Missouri. Their mission is to provide their residents with the utmost security and peace of mind. They are led by Sheriff Randy Strong, who took office in January of 2017. Absolutely, and they are some of the calmest, kindest people you will ever meet, right? Mm -hmm. 
All right, and as we hear them roaring in, we have the Fairfax Marching Pride starting to come in. Gotta love the pink feathers for sure. It really brings it all together. Yes, it does. We'll listen to their talents now. Next up, don't look now, but here's Sigma 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 and Phi Kappa Alpha Japali. The men of Phi Kappa Alpha and the women of Sigma 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 present Mario's special edition Northwest Missouri State University cart. Mario and Princess Peach heard that Northwest Homecoming was the place to be, so they decided to come with Northwest Spirit and join the fun. Oh yeah, and they are looking. That is a beautiful, beautiful float they have going on there. That is for sure. And then up next, we look like we have these Stanberry marching bands. Go and give a listen to them. Seems like, oh, did Wells Hall have a bank? Oh my, it says Wells Bank, that's on oh, me. Oh yeah, good, 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 good. Oh uh, yeah, but you know, since 1887, Wells Bank has been woven into the fabric of our communities, supporting and serving businesses and families. This means standing strong during the hard times and helping customers continue to always push forward. And then don't look now, but there's the Alpha Sigma Alpha paper mache heads. They represent the classic 1980s arcade game, Pac-Man. Oh yeah, were you much of a Pac-Man player? I was, that was one thing. You know, instead of paying attention in school, pull up some Pac-Man on the computer. Right, exactly. Hopefully my teachers aren't watching. I was about to say, you might be careful about that. In front of us now, we have the Northeast Nottoway Marching Blue Jays. Today's live stream on KNWT Channel 8 is brought to you by Northwest Student Activities Council. The student-led organization plans and executes major campus programming. With four event committees and the marketing team, there are opportunities for all interests to be a part of coordinating events on campus. And to learn more, visit nwmissouri.edu slash get involved slash SAC. Oh yes, yeah. Student Activities Council are a phenomenal group. Coming up soon, you're actually gonna get to participate in our, my goodness, what am I thinking about? Grocery bingo. Grocery bingo, of course. I definitely knew that. I'm a tour guide. <laughs> oh yeah. It's basically a national holiday here on campus. Yes, it sure. is. Yes. And here is United Fiber. United Fiber is a local fiber optic network based in Savannah, providing ultra high speed broadband services we bring great hometown service to our customers and electric members. Our fiber optic network produces unparalleled quality and much faster speeds than cable, satellite, or DSL. I mean, they give me my internet, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to see them here for sure. They deserve it. You also have to love the Bearcat pride that's just sweeping through this hall area. Oh my goodness, it is great to see all the green, black, white, Northwest Missouri State colors represented here at the Northwest Absolutely. Parade. Absolutely. I tell you, whenever I showed up here at 7.30, it was not very far after that people started showing up to get their spots in the front row. Yes, everybody from students to alumni showed up incredibly early because they want to see what's going on, like the North Andrew Marching Tigers.
And here come the Phi Sigma Kappa Dancing Clowns. Oh, the sure gentlemen are. of Phi Sig present Clue Done It? A performance inspired by the classic board game of the same name and murder mysteries like it, influenced by the musical stylings of Rockwell, Michael Jackson, and all things Motown. Introducing Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, Mr. Peacock, Reverend Green, Mr. White, and Suave Seducer Scarlet. Oh yeah, it seems like uh, something's going on down there. Is he is he down for the count? <laughs> Skyler, we gotta send somebody out there? Why are we just leaving them out there? Oh no. Oh wow, they are getting it. He's killing it in that maid outfit. Look for at sure. Miss White. Yes. I will say, Skyler, there are some really awesome people in there. Yes, they sure are. They Especially the man on the ground. He oh, is yes. the best actor. You know, he chose that role specifically. He has he been knew practicing what he was all doing. week for this moment and he is excelling. Absolutely. Gotta give him massive props for that. Now, I gotta ask, how long do you think it took them to set this all up, all this choreography? Oh boy, it had to be weeks, Probably. months, even years. Well, that's how much we care about Homecoming, <laughs> and that's for sure, right? We've got to make it right for them. Everything is about the pride of winning these contests. Yes. And there's Matthew. And they and did it. it they Excellent wrapped it up, job. and he's even alive. Yes. Thank you so much, Phi Sigma Kappa. Here in Missouri, the Mosaic Medical Center offers a variety of inpatient and outpatient services, including primary care, emergency care, plus convenient clinics and specialty care services. They seek to improve the health area of individuals and communities and to provide the right care at the right time, in the right place, at the right cost, with outcomes second to none. And what, what is that car? Oh. The Phi Mu and Alpha Gamma Rho Japali. Hungry Hippo Hippo. Mr. Hip finally decided to make his way to the home of the Bearcats after his buddy Bobby begged him to come to the big homecoming game. Bobby showed Mr. Hip all the spots in Maryville. They had breakfast at Gray's, played a competitive bowling match at Bearcat Lanes, and had just enough time before the game to cool off at Mazingo Lake. And speaking of Gray's Truck Stop, support for today's homecoming parade on KNWT TV comes from Gray's Truck Stop and Restaurant. Located at 22979 US 71 in Maryville, Gray's serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dinner daily from 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. For more information, call 660-582-2412. Yep. It looks like up next we have the Warrior Pride Marching Band. that these marching bands are really putting in their all today, aren't they? And that was a great performance by the Warrior Pride Marching Band. It's great to hear all these different bands come out here to the Northwest Parade and really showcase their talents that they've been practicing both at the football games and school. Exactly. You got to realize too, you know, they're coming from a variety of different high schools around the Maryville area. So they come here super early, get ready, prepared, and now they got to march this entire thing. It's really awesome. And this is all competition too. And here is the Phi Mu Dancing Clowns setting up for their performance. The Phi Mu Sorority Dancing Clowns. Today they are bringing to life the board game called Candyland. The dance mix includes five upbeat songs about candy, all in a minute. Each dancer presents, represents a piece of candy. You will see a candy man, a lollipop, a candy cane, two gum, gumdrops, and chocolate. Wow. 
you know what? I saw the song coming, but uh, that's for, <laughs> it still caught me off guard somehow. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, you can tell. Some people have some more dance experience or <laughs> you know, they just try it for the first time. Lucky them, they win the gene pool, that's cool. And there was the Phi Mu Dancing Clowns. Exceptional work from them. Looks like up next we have Miss Whitney's Elite School of Dance. And it brings me back home. My sister's a dancer, so I've spent a lot of time in dance studios and things <laughs> like that. Obviously not doing it myself. Oh, why not? Oh, well, you see, that takes uh, skill, effort, <laughs> and talent. Something my sister got that uh, I guess, you know what, I'm hosting homecoming, she's not, so we'll do that. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and here is Miss Whitney's Elite School of Dance. Got a wide range. What? wide range and variety of ages here for those kids. Absolutely. I think one of the most awesome parts about dance is that, man, even from such a young age, you can always start out and be so successful going on to things. Yes, and I will almost bet that here in about 15 years or so, I think these ladies will be with the Bearcat Steppers. Oh, most definitely, right? Of course, they're already showing their Bearcat pride right now, right? And I wonder where they get their clothing. Well, Clothing Concepts. This broadcast is brought to you by Clothing Concepts. Clothing Concepts will host a clothing we warehouse sale from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. today at the Maryville Parks and Rec Community Center. Located at 1407 North Country Club Road in Maryville, Clothing Concepts offers men's and women's clothing and shoes. And now it looks like we get a show from them, too. Oh, yeah. You know, they're dancers. You know, they got to perform for us. If we got a ton of these fraternities also doing it as well, man. You know, the dancers got to get on it. Oh, yeah. Exceptional job from those young ladies. The crowd likes it. They're cheering them on. Oh, you know it. You also gotta love that everybody's just so supportive of everybody coming through the parade. Tons of cheers. They'll be going through the entire parade itself. I'm sure a lot of these people might lose their voices, and it's not even the <laughs> football game yet. Here's the Sigma Society. The Sigma Society, founded at Northwest in 1970, supports local and national charities while helping its members build leadership skills. Sigma Society original constitution used the pronouns she and her, but the recent amendment replaces those pronouns with gender neutral terms. The constitutional amendment opens the organization to students of all genders, including men and non-binary people. Guys, I have to give a shout out to their banner right there. I just love the color scheme on it for sure. All right, it looks like up next we have the Lakeland Viking Pride Marching Band coming in.
It looks like this is our School of Agriculture Dancing Clowns. Get ready to bend and twist and shout loudly for the Bearcats' victory with the School of Ag Sciences. They present Twister, the game that ties you up in knots, to the classic twist and shout by the Beatles. The ladies dancing today are representatives from Sig Alpha Alpha Beta. All right, and love their color schemes as well, obviously representing the game of Twister so well. It's really clear that they, you know, they really toned into what games they wanted to do and executed them the best they possibly could. They are doing a great job so far today. Have you ever played Twister, Tyrell? Oh, you most certainly know I've played Twister. Do I enjoy Twister? That is the <laughs> real question. And no, I do not enjoy oh, Twister. Man. Unfortunately, right? That was one of the go-tos. One of the go-tos when you was Twister. <laughs> you go to a board game night and you bring a Twister board, Skyler kind of Stamps. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. And it seems like up next, we're having the Nottoway County Republican Committee coming through. Following them, the Bell High School Red Regiment Marching Band. We'll take a lesson in. Wow, I am not sure who these guys are associated with, but those are some big tires. I think you can make it through anything with that. Man, they most certainly can. They probably tested it out too. Sig Phi Epsilon is putting on a great shining armor performance for the checkerboards. A real life checkerboard oh, yeah. on the base as well as multiple chess pieces surrounding the board with a king driving it. Oh, I absolutely love me some chess, that is for sure. You a big chess player, Skylar Stan? Um, I have never played a game of chess in my you life. You have never played a game of chess? <laughs> well, that needs to change, okay? You play a game of chess, I'll play a game of Twister for you. Oh, but it looks like we have a game that I also love to play with the Sigma 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 Paper Mache Head. Tri Sigma presents Super Smash Bros. We wanted to create the Super Smash Bros because it was a video game that as kids we loved playing. And now the younger generation can engage in. The characters that we created included Bowser, Donkey Kong, Pikachu, and Mario.
The Sigma 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 Paper Mache Heads. Try Sigma Prisons Super Smash Bros. The dancing clowns have no faces. On behalf of the dancing clown heads, Anna Hart and Malia Walkup, Tri Sigma presents Just Dancing with Tri Sigma. Our inspiration for this year's dance came from a popular game from our childhood, Just Dance. The dance is performed by Malia Walkup, Kayla Myers, Bree Carroll, Juliana Marshall, and Ashton Rogers. We have a mix of several popular Just Dance songs and we'll assign a lead for each song. The lead will dance to the original choreography in the game. As for the other dancers, we'll do different choreography in the back. You ever played Just Dance as a kid, Skylar Stamps? That is one thing I did a couple times. All right, well, it seems like you've got some experience. I'm going to go out there and go show them what you got. You know, what? Tyrell, do you know the lowest score you can get on Just Dance? Um, I don't believe it, but are you about to say that that'd be your score? Well. I think I've gotten it many times, and ah. I can't remember what it is, but... <laughs> I see, I see. Hey, there's only one way to learn, okay? Brain physical therapy. From Bearcats to Bulldogs, professional athletes to professional grandparents, they have the experience to get you back to what you love. And then up. All right, up here, we looks like we have the Rockport Marching Blue Jays coming in. Ready to funk us up. Let's go and give them a listen. Next up, the Nottoway County Federated Republican Women. And it looks like we have the Indian Student Association here. Looking at the ISA, the Indian Student Association is a student organization in Northwest Missouri State University as the ISA aims at promoting Indian culture and heritage at our university. Epsilon Jalopy or T. As we stand back, folks, because they are coming in hard and heavy with toppling the competition. The Teak really showed up with this one. I can already hear the other jalopy screaming Jenga. Take a listen in to this marching band.
up next we have the South or er, the Sigma Kappa and Sigma Tau Gamma float. And look at that, that is a great float. A take on the 1964 board game, Bobby the Bearcat and Betty the Beer Kitten, Bear Kitten there are twisting go. into homecoming with its Northwest inspired float, featuring the iconic bright colored dots and the fun filled spinner that everybody knows and loves. And there's your favorite game again there, Skyler Stamps. You can definitely tell a lot of effort was definitely put into a that. A lot sure. of work and effort. That is the biggest that we have seen today. Yes, absolutely. The detail. Think about how many little pieces of paper that they folded Man, up. Man, exactly. I don't know if I would want to be a part of that, but I'm glad that they are here today. Much like the Sigma Phi Epsilon fire truck. This fire truck, I was saying, is iconic here at Northwest. And here's the School of Agriculture Paper Mache Heads. Northwest Bearcats own it all in this game of Monopoly. Northwest Missouri State University Agronomy Club and Delta Tau Alpha teamed up to create a thimble, shoe, battleship, and a top hat to represent the School of Agriculture Sciences. Right, it seems like the Christian Campus House or the CCH are coming through. We are here to support, guide, and challenge students as they find hope and life in Jesus Christ. We offer a safe, loving community where you can ask hard questions and are free to be yourself. Following them, the Archie High School Marching Band will take a listen to what they have to offer. And next up in front of our screen, we have the Sigma Kappa Dancing Clowns. We'll see what they have to put on for us. He's gonna be putting on a... Man, you gotta give it to the choreographies, man. You know they've been working on it for weeks now. It looks like we have maybe a couple nurses, some oh, people yeah. in some bed suits. Yes, Lila seems to be killing it right now, that's for sure. So is my girl Libby and Lily are there as well. A few student ambassadors there. I was gonna say, up. I tell you what folks, if you wanna meet someone who knows probably 90% of people at <laughs> Northwest, come talk to Tyrell. Oh, well, hey, I wouldn't necessarily say that. More like a, you know what, maybe I would. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very clear that a lot of these sororities and fraternities, you know, this is really what it's about for them. They really want to show their pride, show their commitments to the Northwest. And it's just really awesome to see that. Not to mention, a lot of alumni from their sororities come up as well. Yes, it is. And seeing all this support for Northwest and the Bearcats, the student body, your source for everything Bearcat. Located at 221 West 4th Street in Maryville, Student Body is open Monday through Saturday. For all your Bearcat apparel needs, call 660-582-8889. And we were just talking about big flows. We'll go ahead and take a look at this, the Alpha Sigma Alpha and Sigma Phi Epsilon flow. This flow was created by Alpha Sigma Alpha and Sigma Phi Epsilon, depicting the game Candyland. Along the sides of the float, there are the game cards, some of which contain both organizations' letters. The very front edge has two peppermint Northwest candies that signify the beginning of our board game. 
At the front of the float, it is the gingerbread plum tree section. In the section, there are plums, a gingerbread tree, and the beloved character, Plumpy. As we continue down the path, you pass by Peppermint Forest, which has three candy canes. The next section is Gumdrop Mountain. In this area, there are the gumdrops and the character Jolly. This region has the Gumdrop Pass, which creates a passageway to skip ahead on the path. Over the Chocolate River, at the very end of the float, is the Ice Cream Castle. That was a great flow, and up next, the East Buchanan Bulldog Marching Band. Next up, Jeff Farnan for Missouri. Driving a pretty stylish car there. Oh yeah, you know, he came to play, that's for sure. My he... dad might not be happy that I don't know what kind of car that is. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how my dad feels about shoes. <laughs> yes. Skyler Stamps, I'm starting to see some hungry, hungry hippos coming up. That looks like to be the Sigma Kappa paper mache head. Sigma Kappa 2022 paper mache heads represent the hungry, hungry hippos board game. The bright orange, pink, yellow, and green are the colors from the original game. Building the heads was a fun and challenging experience, and they turned out to be a huge success. And I definitely agree with that. <laughs> I think so too. That was a classic as a kid. Oh, yes, it most definitely was. I guess we can agree on that one, that's for sure. As it starts to get later in the day here, I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, are you now? What I are you am. thinking about getting Skyler Stamps? Well, let's head over to Elma Gay. Support for the Bearcats also comes from El Maguey Mexican Restaurant, serving Mexican cuisine, desserts, and beverages for dine-in, takeout, and delivery. El Maguey is open daily and is located at 964 South Main in Maryville. Online ordering is available at elmaguey.go.com or call 660-562-1104. This guy, Sam's, do you know what that mascot is? Do you know the name of him? No. That is the <laughs> Noid. He's the Domino's mascot, believe it or not, coming to us from Campus Rec. Really? Oh, yeah. Little fun fact for you there. And it looks like here we have the Sigma Tau Gamma Dancing Clowns, now introducing the Royal Flush Sliders of Sigma Tau Gamma. They are stylish this morning with their suits, jumping over some cones. Oh yeah. I believe that might be for the game Sorry, I see. But I feel like they still wanted the drip, so they uh, <laughs> made sure to apply that for sure. Oh, and there it is, folks. Now it's coming off. You start to hear the crowd <laughs> roar and cheer for that one. <laughs> Oh, well, Whoa. completely understandable, Holy too. Boy. My goodness. That was crazy. Yes. We started off slow, and boom, they hit us with that. Exactly. You know, they, 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 you know, they start to build up that potential <laughs> energy before they send it off to the moon. Absolutely. And Great you hear the performance. Crowd for them. Great performance there by Sigma Tau Gamma. As they head off down the street, we welcome the Phi Mu and Alpha Gamma Rho float. Sure do. Wow. Looks like the game of life. Mm -hmm. 
created by FIMU and AGR and inspired by the board game Life. This float truly shows all Bearcat spirit and its way of life. Featuring one of the school's slogans, All my life, I want to be a Bearcat, this float oozes Bearcat pride. Bobby Bearcat is leading the Bearcat spirit, driving the iconic game of life car down 4th Street. And everything from the spinning wheel. Also, you gotta love the amount of Bobby Bearcats that we see here are pretty awesome. If you want to catch Bobby Bearcat, head over onto the football game. Oh, Tickets yeah. are still available to purchase, either online or at the box office, which opens an hour and a half prior to kickoff. Right, or you can listen to it on 90.5 KXCV Maryville and 88.9 KRNW Chillicothe, or at X160 KZLX, or the MIAA Sport Network. Join me and the crew on Cat Vision, as Tyrell said, on the MIAA Network, providing you with a live stream of the football game. I gotta ask Skylar Sam, do you think they can see through those? You know, I'm not sure, but I'm glad they're holding hands. Yes, and I'm proud to show <laughs> And maybe that's the reason why, so they know where to go. That is the Sigma Phi Epsilon paper mache heads. The paper mache heads themed as giant, as game pieces from the Icons game of Sorry. There are four game pieces consisting of different colors made entirely out of paper mache. And it looks like we got even more hungry, hungry hippo representation from the School of Agriculture Science Flow. Hungry, hungry hippos have made their way to Bearcat Stadium as they fight to win against the Riverhawks for a homecoming victory. Henry the Hippo has teamed up with Bobby the Bearcat to defeat the Riverhawks, but might have made a few stops on the way to eat. The school incorporates the help of many clubs and organizations within the School of Agriculture. Lastly, Bobby and Henry want to wish the football team a crushing win. And after talking to sports announcer Sam Reeves, it seems like that might actually be the case. <laughs> yes, it will. Absolutely. Next up, the Polo Panther Pride Marching Band. Right, and it looks like the Northwest Dance Company is coming up. And inside there is actually our homecoming queen, Hadley Douglas there. And she is having the time of her life. And is that your producer, Skylar Stamps? Colby I Holtman think it there? is, Ms. Colby, Mr. Colby Holtman, our producer for Channel 8 News. Seems to be killing it in there right now. Looks like Chick-fil-A has decided to make an appearance here with that Northwest Campus Dining as they offer quality food and beverage services for Northwest Missouri State University. Sigta Gamma Paper Mache Heads, it's always a good time when you play board games with your family members. Here we have some fan favorite board game characters such as Mr. Monopoly, the patient from Operation, the mouse from Mousetrap, and the cat from Cranium. Let's enjoy a performance from the Hamilton Marching Hornets. Thank you so much, Hamilton Marching Hornet. 
looks like. Up next, we have the Northwest Fishing Club. They are a student-run organization at Northwest Missouri State University based in Maryville. They are a very open club that is a perfect home for any Northwest student with little to no fishing experience all the way up to experienced tournament anglers. They meet once a week to have an informative meeting in a classroom setting or go fishing at local sports around Nottoway County. And let me just say their president is one of the coolest people I've ever met. His name is Dane Lewis. Amazing friend. <laughs> and then he catches person. fish too. Oh yeah, he does catch quite a few fish, that's for sure. His Instagram's popping. <laughs> Next up is the Northwest Art Club. The Art Club is a student-initiated, organized, and led organization for art students and enthusiasts. It seems like we've got a lot of a Mario theme going on today, which I'm certainly not complaining about. <laughs> Super excited for that new movie and anything Mario has in store, that's for sure. And that is the Alpha Kappa Lam Lambda and Alpha Delta Phi and Sigma 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 Flow. And they are... Now we have the hometown, Maryville High School Marching Spoof Hounds. No spoof Hounds. Well represented with cheer, color guard, and the band. We'll take a listen. Awesome job, Spoof Hounds. So good to see you guys here today. You couldn't see it on camera, but our director, Kaylin Byland, a graduate of Maryville High School, was jamming out to her old alma mater. And she was killing it too. Gotta show that representation, that is for sure. And she's an amazing producer, by the way. Putting on this entire production, she's working very hard at it, and it's doing an exceptional job. A huge thank you to Kaylin. Love you so much, Kaylin. And you know, one of the best parts about listening to these marching bands is not only just listening to the marching bands, we also get a time to drink something, right? Yes, and we decided we do. to get our drinks from High V. Got support for today's broadcast on KNWT TV comes from the High V Supermarket, offering groceries, bakery, floral, pharmacy, wine and spirits, catering, deli, dry cleaning, fuel, and more. Ivy is open daily from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. and is located at 1217 South Main in Maryville. Online ordering is also available on the Hy-Vee Isles online app. And for more information, call 660-582-2191. Northwest Catholic follows the Maryville Marching Band. Behind that, the Phi Sigma Kappa paper mache heads. The men of Phi Sig Kappa take a deep dive into the colorful world of Candyland, bringing the characters to life in our entry. Phi Sig sweetens the deal. After that, the Black Student Union slash African American Organization, Minority Men's Organization, the 
Black Student Union. The purpose of this organization is to create a cohesive union of black students, other black great educational opportunities. BSU exists to enhance cultural awareness, political awareness, social events, and provide support to the black students attending Northwest Missouri State University. And it looks like coming up, we have the mighty marching yellow jackets of that bright yellow and blue for us today, making themselves known, that's for sure, at this competition. High School Marching Band. Like we're having some frisbees out there, it seems like. Having some fun out there. Yeah, that is definitely for sure. And you also gotta look so many different kinds of ages here too as yes, well. There is. Really just enjoying this tradition. And it looks like we might have wrapped up the end of our parade. Absolutely. Boy, we had a good lineup today. Yes, we definitely did. Those floats were absolutely exceptional. You can tell they put a lot of effort and time to a lot of those. And just a chance to actually talk about a lot of the things that we kind of have here at Northwest is truly what it is about, right? Yes, it is. is awesome. And we had a lot of fun bringing it to you today. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just been really fun to have this opportunity to bring us this Northwest Homecoming Parade. It was the first time I'm a freshman, first time I've been able to experience this. I don't know about you, but it's been a great opportunity. Oh, it absolutely has been. Not to mention, too, today has been beautiful, right? When I was here last time, man, it was frigid cold, and yet we were still having a blast. So to be able to actually have this in this weather is awesome, and I'm so happy you actually got to experience yes. what a Northwest homecoming really is about, right? It is so much fun, and I am really glad that that cold rush came out into Maryville and then it left before homecoming. Absolutely. I was not going to enjoy this if it was 30 degrees outside. Absolutely, <laughs> but I think you definitely enjoyed it today yes. for sure, right? It was a lot of fun. Yes, we just wanna give a massive thank you to all the participants in today's parade. We know it took a lot of time and dedication, right, to come out here and be able to do this, and we're so happy that you guys are participating in our homecoming festivities, right? Yep. But we still have plenty more things going on today, yes, which we is do. absolutely incredible, right? Yep. The Bearcat football team will kick off at Bearcat Stadium at 2 p.m. As most of you already probably have your tickets, be sure to get those either online at Bearcat Sports Tickets, or you can go to the box office as they open an hour and a half prior to kickoff. Let's pack Bearcat Stadium and have a great environment for homecoming. Absolutely, and you already know today specifically, we're seeing a lot of green lighting up those areas, right? As we are all excited to be here. 
looking out, you can already see the, everybody from alumni to students to hopefully future students in here. And it's just gonna be an exceptional time to be able to have all of that in one environment. It might be insanely loud, even though everybody has been <laughs> super energetic this morning of yep. all things right man so you talk to some northwest students sometimes they're like hey you know like <laughs> we get through here and then we you know we'll hang out later things like that man but they all came out to be amazing today we love that kind of energy yes it was a lot of fun it made it a great environment for us to host in and the crowd's starting to kind of clear out now onto either the pavilion for the campus dining lunch that they have before games or the tailgate down at the grass lots, which is a lot yeah. of fun for a lot of Bearcats. Absolutely, yeah. That tailgate's actually going to be starting at 1130 before that game at 2 p.m., right? You know, and that's just another great opportunity for people to hang out and talk. It's also a great time that a lot of alumni get to meet their actual alumni, right? You know, we saw about the 1978 class celebrating that anniversary. They'll actually get to see each other be like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? It's just the fact that you're all once you're Bearcat, you are always a Bearcat yeah. here in Northwest. And it's been a lot of fun. So on behalf of myself and Tyrell, I want to thank you for joining this morning's production of the 2022 Homecoming Parade. So long for now.